Cathay Pacific shareholders voted to repay 50% of the government's COVID rescue package at the end of this year, with remaining pay repayments to be made by the end of July next year. In an effort to financially support Cathay Pacific during the COVID-19 pandemic, the government acquired $19.5 billion worth of the airline's preference shares. Timothy Lee tells us more. The city's flagship airline, which struggled financially during the coronavirus pandemic and having axed thousands of jobs, received a government injection of $19.5 billion in preference shares in June 2020. But the post-pandemic period showed positive signs for the airline, as demand for flights continue on rapid growth as Hong Kong residents can finally satiate their thirst for travel. Cathay has held a number of job fairs beginning in July in the mainland and has shown signs of recovery. In just the first half of this year, the carrier made over $4.2 billion in revenue. Earlier, the airline's board of directors suggested reacquiring 50% of the government's preference shares while reclaiming the other half by the end of July next year. The plan was put into action after a resolution was passed by Cathay's shareholder. Cathay Pacific CEO Ronald Lam said the airline's road to recovery is now back on track, adding it's time for Cathay to repay the government for their support during the pandemic. The government previously loaned $7.8 billion to the airline, but Cathay said it has not used any of the money. As of now, the airline has already distributed over $1.8 billion of preference shares to the government. Regarding the government's $19.5 billion injection, the preferred shares carry a deferable 3% coupon rate for the first three years, with the rate going up to 5% in the fourth year and 7 and 9% in the next two years, respectively. Some analysts estimated if Cathay completes their reacquisition of the preference shares by next July, the government could make between 2.2 to 3 billion from interest. Timothy Lee, TVB News.